Well, don't look now, but it's October already, though you'd never know it from the weather today. It's, uh, not, it's what the Beach Boys might call an endless summer, but it will eventually come to an end. But for now, we're enjoying what some have already dubbed Oct-August. And we have been setting some records. It's the driest fall in Victoria since airport records began in 1940. Environment Canada says this September ties 1998 for the second driest on record, and the combination of August and September is the driest ever, with rainfall far below normal. It was also the sunniest September ever in the capital, with close to 300 hours of sunshine that smashed the previous record set in 1975. And if you think it's been balmy, you're right. September was the seventh warmest on the books, with an average high temperature over 21 degrees. The question is, how long will it last? CTV's Andrew Johnson reports. It's October 1st, and Annette DeBoer is spending the day at the beach. It's very warm. I was surprised when I got out of the car and felt how warm the wind is. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Two logs over, Abdullah's got the same idea. What are you thinking about while you sit here? Oh, that, that, that is like uh, personal, and so, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, not even a nosy reporter can ruin the kind of weather environment Canada's Anne McCarthy has never seen, at least not at this time of year. June was a big disappointment. Then we got into July, and temperatures came up to about normal. By August, now we're looking at warmer than normal temperatures. And somebody turned the switch in August, too. This one turned off the precipitation. She says it's like someone's been holding an umbrella up there over top of us for the past two months. If you're loving this endless summer, we have more good news. The forecast for Victoria through this weekend looks a lot like it has for the past month. Sunny and a high of 20 degrees. Perfect for hitting the beach. Although ideally not in your dress clothes, these are going to have to come off. That cleared the beach. Back to the weather, we do know it'll rain sometime soon. It has to. The owner of Rainbird Boutique is kind of counting on it. I think the weather is lovely and rain is on its way. I can feel it in the air. Firefighters are hopeful too. Fire season is extending well beyond summer. Grass and brush fires like the one on Tulip Avenue in Saanich this morning are not slowing down. With the current conditions that we have, where it's hot during the day, cold in the morning, cold at night, I think we let our guard down a little, thinking that there is no fire hazard, when the exact opposite is happening, that we have an extreme fire hazard right now. Thankfully, the orange glow coming from Mitchell's farm is only a very impressive pumpkin patch. You can see the size is good on them, and the shell is extremely firm on them, and the, and the stems are still green. And uh, that's, uh, you know, that's basically a result from the weather we've had in the fall. They've started the harvest just in time for Hallow Warm.